Now we'll talk about the induced EMF and current with the magnetic induction and experiments of Faraday and Henry. Whenever there is a change in the magnetic flux linked with the closed circuit, an EMF is induced or produced. This EMF is considered as induced EMF on the current that flows in the closed circuit are called induced current. The phenomenon of producing an induced EMF due to the changes in the magnetic flux associated with the closed circuit is referred to as magnetic induction. You are able to see once the magnet moves towards a particular magnet with a coil, an induced EMF is created here. This is referred to as electromagnetic induction. Faraday discovered the electromagnetic induction consists of a cylindrical coil C made up of several tens of insulated copper wire which is connected in series with a galvanometer. A star a strong bar magnet with its north pole pointing towards the coil is moved up and down. A relative motion between the coil and the magnet induces a current in the galvanometer, which it shows as a deflection, indicating the flow of induced current. It lasts so long as there is a relative motion between the coil and the magnet. The direction of the flow of the current changes if the magnet is moved towards or withdrawn if it is from the current. You are able to see once it is moved forward, you are able to see the current in this direction come forward. If it is come backward, the current is getting reduced. The deflection is more when the magnet is moved faster and less when the magnet is moved slowly. However, on reversing the magnet, now I got my south pole pointing towards. The same result is obtained with the current flows in the opposite direction. So, now I am going to talk about a bit more further. You got uh, two coils C1 and C2. I just close each other. The coil C1 is connected to a battery Bt and a key K and a rheostat RH. Coil C2 is connected to a galvanometer and it is kept closed. When the key K is pressed. The galvanometer contact with the coil C2 shows a sudden momentary deflection. This indicates that your current is induced in coil C2. This is because when the current in the coil C1 increases from 0 to a steady value, the magnetic flux linked with the coil C1 increases. You are able to see the magnetic flux. Hence, the magnetic flux linked with the coil C2 also increases. This causes a deflection in the galvanometer. On releasing K, the galvanometer shows a deflection in the opposite direction. This indicates that the current is again induced in coil C2. This is because when the current in C1 decreases from maximum to zero value, the magnetic flux linked with the coil C1 decreases. Hence, the magnetic flux in coil C2 also decreases. This causes the deflection in the galvanometer in the opposite direction.